there's these cuts in the mangrove that look really interesting to me. <laughs> yeah, it's like the whole family is here. Look, quit monkeying around. Hola casa. Okay. <laughs> Muchas gracias. Previously on Project Atticus. After spending three years refitting our fixer-upper sailboat, we left the United States with only $2,000 and the goal of working while we cruised. We made it as far as Isla Mujeres, Mexico, before we ran out of money and had to find work. For the next year, we did freelance boat repair jobs until we saved up enough money to cast the lines and sail south to explore the Western Caribbean. For the past two weeks, we've been struggling to make our way east along the south coast of Cuba, and we finally made it to our destination, Cayo Campos, the most beautiful island in southwest Cuba. All right, so now I'm off on a solo dinghy adventure. Desiree's feeling tired, so she's gonna chill here and rest up. Before we left the Bay Islands, I actually cached a lot of images on our Google Earth app of the areas that we're going to be going to. So even without the internet, I've still got a lot of these satellite images of, of where we are, and I've got some of, of here, so let's check it out. So we are right here, just off the tip of Cayo Campos. And then if I cross this bay, there's these cuts in the, in the mangrove here that look really interesting to me. So I'm gonna see if I can't check that out and see what it's like over there. mud flat I can see one single flamingo and he's way too far to get a shot with a GoPro so I'm gonna try and see if I can't creep up on him I think that's the first wild flamingo that I've ever seen okay there's the flamingo he's way up there dang it scared him away well definitely got to see him that's so cool I'm back. Holy smoke. Man, how cool is that? It's too bad I couldn't get all that close, but still, like getting to see a flamingo in the wild while just kind of exploring is pretty neat. Welcome to our first day at what is probably one of my favorite anchorages that we've ever been to. But now you can see we got our nerdy sun protection shirts on, and that can mean only one thing. It is adventure time. We're gonna go uh, check out the island, which is supposed to have monkeys on it. Uh, our other goal is to chat with the park rangers here and try and strike a deal with them to trade for some lobster or fish. So you ready bud? Ready. Pretty. It's so quiet here. <laughs> Hola. Buenas tardes. Salve. ¿Cómo está pasando el día? Bien, bien. ¿Usted? Muy bien. No hemos caminando hace, no sé, una semana. Entonces me siento bien. <laughs> Con tierra firme. Con tierra firme. A veces uno anda así. Uno. Sí, sí, sí. Ahí está arriba el barco. Sí. <laughs> y antes um, hablaba usted de 
de pescado y langosta. Sí. ¿Lo tienen todavía? Sí. sí. sí todavía. Ah, ok. ¿Qué nos gusta para cambiar? <risa> ¿O qué necesitan? <risa> a ver, compañeros. ¿Tienen línea pescaria? Sí, 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 sí. Ajá. Luego, cuando regresen, te lo enseñamos. Ah, ok, está bien. So we saw a couple of monkeys in the distance, so we wanted to check them out. I heard they're a little aggressive, so I'm gonna try to give them their space. <laughs> He's like just dancing, moving to the beat. Look at this guy. He's like got his hand around the other one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like the whole family is here, look. Well, we're gonna go for a walk. We'll catch you monkeys later. Quit monkeying around. This feels so gross. I know. Gross. You made it. My feet feel violated. Dang. There's a handful of snook around us. That's so cool. He's like coming up to me. Yeah, I think last night was a little bit of a late night. I had a little more rum than I'm used to. Who tried to warn you? Nobody. I wish someone would have told me if only there was that I should not there. drink that much rum. Yeah. Oh, whoa. <laughs> wow. But there's worse places to be hungover in. Whoa! What? Boy, it's hogfish. Holy shit! What do you want, bud? <laughs> wow! Definitely take the the hogfish yeah, for sure. Cool. Whoa! Gracias. <laughs> well, <laughs> we should probably bring him the line, right? Yeah. Vamos a regresar con la línea. The park rangers just came by, and they've got a shit ton of fish. Really? So I don't know if you guys want to go try and barter for some fish. I don't know if they just shot them just now. They're saying they did. Yeah. If that's true, that's like the most successful spear fishing trip I've ever heard of. Like, honestly, <laughs> I, we just went out to the reef and I, it, I wouldn't be surprised. Really? really? We just swam around for like 20 minutes. I saw the two biggest lobs I've ever seen ever. Cool. Really? Like, this big and the dude was just like, <laughs> like all right oh like i'm so excited people. dude i cannot wait to go spear fishing tomorrow uh is este uh is this bueno el el grueso está bien Sí. Pero más en línea porque muy poquito, sí. muy poquito. ¿No tiene una botella de ron en el barco? Sí, sí. Una botella de ron. Ok, un bote. Sí. Ok, ya. perfecto. Uno pequeño. Por la casa. Ok, <laughs> muchas gracias. Ok, regreso. Sí, <laughs> gracias, amigo. See? Okay. Well, wow. we did pretty well, I think. Um, we got this big hogfish, and then uh, this little hogfish mm -hmm. uh, for a five-dollar bottle of rum. Not too bad. But now I got a good hour's work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> while I watch the sunset. I'm just saying, we gotta figure out a good way to clean fish on the boat and not just like totally destroy the cockpit. Cause like, it actually looks pretty good right now, but like I've already done a lot of cleaning. It smells pretty fishy. Yeah.
Well, it is a beautiful morning, nice and calm today. So Don Marie and I are gonna go ashore and find a little spot to do some yoga. Spot actually, yeah, we really awesome. lucked out. <laughs> All right, it's fish for breakfast time. So, my whole shtick, I, I'm all about cooking things real simply. What I've learned with fish is, in the preparation, is to make sure it's kind of dry, you know, like don't let too much liquid be on the surface at least. So I take a paper towel and then just kind of pat it dry. My other only real trick is to salt it 20 minutes before you're gonna cook it. In the past, I've had a hard time cooking fish and like getting it to be flaky and yet also keeping the filet together. If we salt it 15 to 20 minutes before we cook, um, it, it tends to stay together better. And then garlic powder. And then I kind of just pat it in there, you know? Are you a fisherman? Actually, I'm a master baiter. <laughs> yep, saw where you were going with that. Normally, I put vegetable oil and butter and get it pretty hot, but not as hot as it can get. Mm -hmm. The butter does a really good job of like browning the fish, not to mention giving it really, really good flavor. Probably two to three minutes on, on each side, and then I will uh, bring it down to like medium low and cover it. I'll do that until when I poke it with a fork, it the flakes like break apart. Okay, how's it look? It looks delicious. Mm, that's good. That's good. All right, mm. fish mm. for breakfast. Mm -hmm. All right, well, we're gonna go spear fishing today, so we're gonna go check out the cut that this pass kind of makes through the reef. So. Hopefully there will be some schools of jack going through, some lobster, maybe some hogfish. We'll see. We're like dive bombing over there. All right. What I'm hoping is that there's a school of like uh, bait fish and then like a school of like jacks or something. Uh -huh. Like that are pushing them to the surface. Uh -huh. you know what I mean? Okay, hold it there. Mm. Neutral? Okay, just hang around. catch lobster using a net and a tickler, but we weren't having much luck here. So I decided to try something that I had never done before, using only my hands. I think it's a female though. We should let it go. You see how I just grabbed that thing? You go on that side and poke the shit out of him, and I'll have the net on this side. As I got into position, I was really bummed because I saw that the lobster was gone. But as I started to come back up, I noticed the lobster was literally right on top of me.
well for ourselves. Wow. I can't, like, this is, these are definitely the two biggest lobsters that we've ever caught. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they are. I mean, they're, they're big they're lobsters. Big. Yeah. Yeah. And then I uh, got a good hogfish. And I actually need to look this guy up because I don't know what he is exactly. Um, and then we also caught a little, a little jack that we gave to our friends uh, on wavelength. This is gonna be meat for like the next, probably week plus like a dinner party with them, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, time to get cleaning. Why is, it's a little smoky in here. Well, without a grill, I'm really trying to blacken the crap out of this lobster, so uh, it's gonna be worth it. Breathing is overrated. <laughs> That's what I'm sticking to. This looks so good. Good. Holy moly. Just pull the lobster out of the shell. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. So we're having our last sunset in uh, Cayo Campos and it's so beautiful. I feel like all the hard work it took to get here was definitely worth it. This place was so beautiful, but it was even more cool mm. because it was hard to get here. Yeah. And yet, like, our journey here was even more cool because the destination was so awesome. Yeah. So it's like they complemented each other mm. in that way. Mm, I see what you mean. Yeah, I agree then. Well, let's watch that sun go down. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed this week's episode. As most of you know, our big goal is to take Atticus across the Pacific in 2020, so we've been putting all of our love, blood, sweat, and tears into getting Atticus ready for that crossing. We also wanna make sure we're ready on the filming end of the spectrum for the crossing. Yeah, that's right. So as it stands right now, a lot of our back end gear that's totally necessary to produce weekly videos is starting to get either old or it's wearing down or it never was very good to begin with. And so things like SD cards, hard drives, power inverters, batteries, battery chargers, all that kind of stuff, we really are kind of like playing it fast <laughs> and loose right now. Like if we were to have a single failure in any of those systems, like our filming would just shut down. So what we're doing is trying to make sure that Project Atticus is robust enough to suffer a couple of different equipment failures and to be able to keep trucking along and keep making videos even if we're in the middle of the South Pacific. So if you want to help support Project Atticus on the production side of things, you can check out our Amazon wish list in the description below. And if you end up buying anything off that list, thank you so much, you're amazing, we love you. Uh, make sure you leave your name in the gift receipt so that we can give you a personal shout out in an upcoming episode. All right guys, rock on. We'll see you next week. <laughs>